What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday. Today we're going over Volcanian, Volcanian, Entei, Flareon deck, or just Volcanian, Volcanian, as most people call it. I know we reviewed this deck a couple weeks ago right at the Worlds, but, I mean, it has changed. It has uh, it is the standard now. We did see make, this deck make top... Eight? No, no, it made like ninth, 10th and 11th, I'm pretty sure it was made. Uh, Volcano made 10th and 11th, but I think it's a really, really strong deck as of right now. It does, unfortunately, pretty much struggle with Garboder, unless you license a Garboder and use Steam Artillery to knock it out. Uh, but today, let's go over the deck and let's see what it's about. Now, our main two attackers are going to be Volcanian and Volcanian, as the deck says. You know, it's Volcanian, Volcanian deck. So, uh, the first Volcanian has the Power Heater, does 20, and you choose two of your range Pokemon to attach a Fighter G card from your discard to each of those Pokemon. So, uh, it can kind of help us out, you know, get the Fire Energies out very quickly, uh, start, you know, getting the Fire Energies around the board, which is really nice, and Steam Artillery damage to straight up for three fire energies it kind of reminds me of baby baby evatol except baby evatol was only one and this is two Oh, it's pretty nice, and they both do uh, 100 damage, but the other one is a flip of coin. This one's not a flip of coin, which is still pretty nice, but the way we're going to do a lot of damage is through Volcanian EX. Uh, Volcanian EX has the ability to steam up once during your turn before you attack. You may discard a fire energy from your hand. If you do, during this turn, your basic fire Pokemon stacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's act Pokemon, and it has the attack Volcanian Heat. Uh, 130, this Pokemon can attack during your next turn. So what we can do... As we've seen in Volcanian, Power Heater, 20, uh, Discard Fire, Attach Fire Jades, but we get boosted up with this Volcanian EX. And if we use four Volcanian EXs, well, that's 120 damage through that. And then plus a Fighting Fear Belt to do 10 more damage, that's 130. And then plus this other one, it's 150. And you can see how Volcanian can start, you know, out of nowhere, start doing a ton of damage. And you can start powering up your bench Pokemon as well. Because when you discard those Fighter Jades with the Steam Up attack, you can actually power up your Power Heater uh, through that way, which is pretty cool. All right, so one Hoopa to search for 3x Pokemon, one Shaman to help set up for 6, we play 1 Flare and EX because the Blaze Ball does 50, and this attack does 20 more damage for each Fire G attached to this Pokemon, and Flash Fire once during a turn before you attack, you may move a Fire G from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon, Blaze Ball can all of a sudden do a ton of damage to help you knock out a Pokemon, which is really nice, I know Volcano he can do 130, but that, that Flash Fire ability is so neat. I wish we could play more of these Flare on EXs, but one is probably enough. Uh, for the most part, you're attacking with Volcanian, sometimes Volcanian X, uh, maybe just once. And then sometimes you attack with Entei. Uh, it has the attack Combat Blades, so that second attack is what we're looking at. It does 20, and this attack does 20 more damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So, if your opponent has a bench of 5, you do 120 that way. Then you can use Volcanian EX attack to bump it up even more, which is pretty cool. And all of a sudden, you can have an Entei doing a ton of damage out of nowhere, and sometimes your opponent doesn't expect it. Especially since Entei needs two Fire Gs, you can just Power Heat onto that, and maybe Flareon, next turn touch a Fire G, and do a ton of damage, which is pretty nice. And that's all the Pokemon we're going to play in our deck. It is 12, I mean, I guess it's just a standard amount. Alright, so two Energy Evil, uh, put two f basic... It uh, basic injury cards from your discard pile back into your hand. Uh, two max potion, which is really cool with like Volcanic X and whatever, uh, because you can attack with Volcanic X. Uh, maybe retreat, max potion, heal it, then power heater back onto it if needed. Uh, you can also heal your Volcani baby Volcanians as well because of the Fighting Fury Belt, because, you know, it has 130. Fighting Fury Belt gives it 40 more HP, so it's a 170 HP attacker. And if they can't one-shot, you can just max potion attached to the fire energy, be good, be good to go. But max potion does discard all energy attached to your Pokemon. Uh, two Professor Letters, search deck for two basic energy cards. One Super Rod, shuffle three combination Pokemon and energies back into your deck. Uh, for the most part, we are using to get back our Pokemon, but sometimes you need those energies to attach for your turn. Uh, four Trainers Ball and four BS Seeker. Oh my goodness, guys. You know what I just realized? You know what I just realized? I just played a bunch of games, and I didn't even have any Ultra Balls in this deck. Literally no Ultra Balls. There's no Ultra Balls in here. And I recorded two series. With no Ultra Balls. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just I just realized we don't have any Ultra Balls. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I, that's the card I forgot to add in here. Oh my goodness. No wonder it's so hard. Okay, we'll keep it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guys, all right. We'll go over the rest of the deck and then I'll add in four Ultra Balls. All right. So one Fisherman. <laughs> Start to discard pile with four basic energy cards. Show them to your opponent. Put them to your hand. Uh, two Lysander. Bring a Pokemon off the bench. Three in. One Pokemon Ranger, remove all effects of attacks on each player's on each player and his or her Pokemon. Sorry, I'm laughing because we don't have any Ultra Balls in this deck, and I just realized it after recording all these videos. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> Alright, but Poke Ranger removes all effects of attacks on each player and his or her Pokemon, uh, which is really good with Volcano and X, because if you Volcano Heat, you actually can't attack next turn, but you can Poke Ranger get off, which is really cool. Uh, four Sycamore, discard your hand, draw seven new cards. Three Score Stars, uh, you discard a Fire Energy, draw two new cards. Four Fighting Fear Balls, so your Pokemon have 40, your basic Pokemon have 40 more HP and do 10 more damage. Three Flood Stones, so your Pokemon have free retreat, which is really good with your Volcano EXs because they have a three retreat cause. And so does Hoopa as well as, well as a two, not a three. And 12 Fighter G. But guys, I need to put Ultra Balls in the stack. I don't need to post a video without Ultra Balls, but I promise the video is me winning two games without any Ultra Balls. Oh my goodness. Give me a second, guys, and let me fix it up, and I'll add these Ultra Balls in here, and I'll show you what the list looks like right afterwards. Alright guys, so here's the list with Ultra Balls. Oh my goodness, I, like, you're gonna watch the videos and be like, Squeaky, what are you doing? There's no Ultra Balls. How come you never drew an Ultra Ball? And you're like, because the Ultra Balls weren't in there. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I forgot to put Ultra Balls in the deck, but I still won game, I still won two games without playing any Ultra Balls, which is how good the deck is. Like, we didn't play any Ultra Balls, it's still one, which is still... Oh my goodness, that's pretty crazy. But what I ended up doing is I took out a Lysander. I took out a Fighting Fear Ball because four is maybe too many. It's like they're so good at Volcania, on Volcania. And I took out the two Max Potions. Now, you could put the two Max Potions in here, but everything else is pretty much needed. Uh, you can maybe discard Scorched Earth, but you need those to help draw your deck at the end of the game, maybe. Um, you can maybe discard a... Maybe not play a Retrieval or a Letter. Maybe play one less Energy or Letter if you want to. Uh, maybe a less in if you like the Max Potions. You'll see in the games where Max Potion does can be really clutch and it is really good you can maybe cut it's cut out the shaman like i didn't have an ultra ball so i could never search for shaman or hoop or anybody so it's really hard to win these games but we still won two of our games without using any ultra balls which is still pretty amazing but guys hopefully you enjoyed this video i i'm telling you right now these videos do not have ultra balls in them so it makes it even better because the matches become so much harder but the deck does need ultra ball every deck needs ultra balls Oh my goodness, what was I doing? I don't even know. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry <laughs> that these decks don't have, these games don't have Ultra Balls in them, which is really funny. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see what happens. All right, I think it's Ventus Invictus uh, playing kind of some kind of psychic deck. I'm not 100% sure what they're playing. Uh, I guess it could be Mega Mewtwo if that's with Garb. We are in trouble uh, because Garb Boater does shut down the Volcanians. So, we won the coin vote, we'll be able to go first, and yes, I would love to go first on oh, our turn, let's see what's going to happen, alright, so we get Volcanian, Hoopa, uh, besides that, really don't have that much, uh, I spent another Volcanian, we'll press done, and on oh, to our turn, let's see what's going to happen, um, there is a Magirna, alright, so we can flip on the active, Ranger's Mill, look at soft cards of our deck, uh, we'll grab nothing, and it'll probably just Sycamore, just discard a hand, draw seven new cards, really don't want to put the Hoopa down as of right now, uh, there's a Volcanion, so put that down, put down Scorched Earth, use the Scorched Earth, just draw a fire card, draw, uh, discard a fire, draw two new cards, alright, so we'll retreat into Volcanion, we'll fire to the active, and we'll just pass on to our opponent's turn, now next turn we can maybe train your, uh, Professor Lair to get two fire G's, so let's see, three, three, six, uh, Seven eight, uh, which is enough for a knockout. There's a uh, training as well for an ultra ball. Okay, um, let's see what's going to happen. There's a skyfall coming down, bumping our score shirt, which is not great. Uh, what are we playing against? This is a requisite deck, that's what I could think of. Uh, ultra ball discarding a mega turbo and a steel energy, and yeah, it definitely looks like a mega requaza. Uh, there's a hoopa gonna use that scoundering to search for three ex Pokemon. All right, so hoopa probably grabbing a requaza, requaza, and a shebe most likely, unless they have a link in their hand. They could get Rayquaza, put the link in Mega Evolve right now. Um, so, let's see. There's Rayquaza, Rayquaza, and a Shebe. All right, guys. So, can we deal with this matchup or not? So, Rayquaza coming down. Rayquaza coming down. Um, I guess it comes down to my opponent final. Uh, Floodstone, uh, Mega Turbo... Uh, Link, Mega Cross of DC, all in this one turn, which is not too crazy to ask for. There's another Cross of Hit in the field. A uh, Train Dismal, going to get soft cards of their deck. And let's see, what does our opponent find here? Now, we could just take a knockout next turn if our opponent leaves his Magirna and start pounding up a Volcanion. There's a Full Stone going down to the Hoopa. Looks like they will sacrifice his Magirna. Magirna. Uh, Metal Engine to that guy. And. Mega Evolve. All right, so on our turn, we're looking pretty good. So what we can do is we can... Ooh, a Fighting Fury belt. Ooh. I'm actually going to Fighting Fury belt the Volcanian EX because we can 3, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I'm going to put down this guy. I am going to Letter. Uh, put down 1, 2 in our hand. Okay. We get... How many fires in our discard belt, first of all? 
Um, one, okay. Hmm. Okay, we get Fishman for one. Put that in our hand. Alright, so we're going to Fishman actually for the one energy. And I'll show you why. So we're going to either one energy, okay. We'll put that on this guy. We will steam up number one, discard a fire energy. We will steam up number two, discard a fire energy, and we'll power heater for the knockout, all right? So let's power heater for the knockout, okay? Uh, we'll do 160 damage, thank you, weakness, put two fire energy, one on that guy, one on that guy. We'll take two prize cards, there is a fighting wheel and a flowstone. All right, so do opponent's turn and probably send this, oh, who sent the hoopa, uh, does have the flowstone. Uh, now opponent, let's see, he's doing three, six, nine, twelve, which is not enough for the knockout. Uh, Spirit League going to that guy, okay? Uh, Sycamore, go ahead and discard the hand, draw seven new cards. They must have just tried to take the Sycamore, because I doubt. Um, yeah, all right, so Gavala coming out, which has the Quick Guard and uh, the da, 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 Revenge Blast, okay? So, actually, he needs a DCE or a, okay, there's a Mega Turbo put on that guy, okay? And there's a Metal Energy, so he will take a knockout this turn, but we could potentially knock out his Rayquaza. Uh, there's a Flowstone Gun on that guy, because we can do 130, then 3, 6, 9, 12, which is enough for the knockout. Uh, there's a VS Taker first, second more going to their hand, but we had to get very lucky with this. So here comes uh, Rayquaza, and we'll see a knockout for sure. Okay, so Ammo Rake for the knockout. Alrighty. Uh, we'll send up the, the Volcanian because it does have the Flowstone, so we'll send that guy up. And on our turn, what do we top deck? Hopefully it's an Ultra Ball. Okay, there's a Sycamore. I'm actually just going to play in, put opponent out of 5 while we get 4. Yes, that's fine. Thank you, Pokemon. I know you're concerned about me, but we'll be okay. Alright, so ooh, just a Flareon and a Fire Energy. Alright, so put down Flareon. I'm going to use, uh, let's see. Okay, so we're going to use the Flash Fire. Move a Fire Energy from this guy to the Flareon. We'll put a fire energy on this guy. We will retreat into the Volcanian, and we will do a, a Volcanian heat for 130. Now, how much HP do we have currently? Have a 220. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. So he needs two more Pokemon to actually take a knockout this turn. All right, can I point to do or not? There's a DC going on that guy. Okay. Um, if he doesn't, then we can maybe retreat to the Flareon. Oh, that's not that good. We need to tell like a Ranger, because right now we cannot attack or get the Baby Volcano. That could work as well as some Fire Energies, okay? So there's a Shaman coming out. We'll see a Shaman set up for a bunch of new cards. Alright. Um, Shaman coming out. I'm going to set up for four. Okay. Can they find one Pokemon or not? It's my question. They do. They can knock us out. There's a Mega Quasar coming down, okay? I want a Kuba Tree maybe attack with this guy to save this guy instead. Uh, there's a Mega Turbo. Put an energy on that guy. And will we see him retreat or not? I mean, I, I would probably retreat if I was my opponent. Um, okay, there's Sycamore. We're going to discard the hand. Draw seven new cards. And can they find War Pokemon or not is my question. If they do, they will take a knockout on this Volcanian X. And there's a Trainer Smell. Good luck at the top cards of their deck. And can they find one or not? There's another Spearling like, going to their hand. Alrighty. And we're just waiting for the moment. Okay, Spearling like, going to that guy. A uh, Mega Quasar is hitting the field. And there's a Trainees Mode. Look at soft cards of their deck. Can they find an Ultra Ball or not? Because I imagine if they had a Pokemon, they would have just immediately put it down onto the field. Because why not? Um, But there's an end. We don't care about that. We just care about do they have another Pokemon or not is the big question. Does not look like it. Nope. An Ammo Break will be, will be short. 210 damage. This guy is tanking it up right now. So there's a Fighting Free Belt. We'll put that on the, uh, the Flareon and we'll via Secret Fort in. Uh, get a new hand. No, we're going to Sycamore. What am I talking about? We'll grab Sycamore. Discard our hand. Draw seven new cards. We need to find a Baby Volcanian and some Fire Energies. And okay, so we get a Max Potion as well. So we'll put a Volcanian down. We will, uh, let's see, three, six. Uh, seven, eight. Ooh, we can knock out the active as well. So what we can do is we can retreat into this guy. Okay. We can max potion this guy. Heal all the damage off it. Uh, professor letter. Search for two fire G's. So one and two. Uh, we will attach one to this guy. Use double steam up. So steam up number one. Steam up number two. All right, guys, uh, floats still the active, and we'll go for the uh, power heater to knock out the active. Oh, my goodness, there we go. Put a fire G here and a fire G on this guy as well. So we're going to go down to two prize cards, one and two, unless he can we beat this deck. Oh, man, it's looking great right now. Uh, train as well, fire G. All right, so right now, Bla oh, man, Blaze Ball can do a ton of damage and potentially knock out this requaza. What we can do next turn is just license or bring up the shame and not... Uh, 
And win the game either way. Uh, but can we knock out the Rayquaza? Let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, it looks like we'll be kind of short if we do go that route. Let me make sure. Oh, actually, no, wait. Uh, 220. So let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, we'll be just short if we do decide to go that route. Um, we could Sycamore and go that route. But no, there's an Ant. All right, so we're going to have two Bryce guards. And uh, let's see. Can we find a VSC or not to bring out that Shaman? And no, there's not one yet. All right, so Spirit Link going down to the Urquaza. Mega Urquaza in the field as well. And we'll see a knockout. All right, so in break for the knockout. I'm going down to four prize cards. All right. My opponent has to deal with these Volcanians, too, because they do so much damage. All right, so we'll send the Volcanian EX. And on our turn, what's going to happen? There's an end. So we'll put a Fire Gen on this guy. We will Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Let's see what can we find. All right, so we can uh, put down Volcanian. Uh, Fighting Fury Build It. Scorched Earth, one, two, three. Man, if we put down Scorched Earth, my opponent can just... Huh. Do we go for it? Man, we could win the game this turn if we get if we get super lucky. Do we believe in magic? Is a question. Right, I'm going to put down Scorched Earth. I think that's a better play. We'll put down Scorched Earth. He's going to discard both Shamans. Whatever. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I know he's going to discard both Shamans. Alright, so we'll Shaman. Set up for three. Uh, we need... Three energies and a Volcanix off of this. Alright, so let's see what's going to happen. And, oh, we don't get it. Alright, we got Scorched Earth. Alright, so we'll Scorched Earth. Discard a Fire, draw two. Ah, oh, we don't get it. Alright, so train as well. Look at the top cards of our deck. Uh, we'll grab an Energy Evil. Oh, we are so close. Alright, so grab the Energy Evil. Uh, put that into our hand. We'll get two Fire Energies, one and two. Uh, we will retreat into the Volca Baby Volcanian. Put a oh, we already attached return. Oh my goodness. Alright, well we'll flash fire. Move fire energy to this guy to this guy. I forgot we already attached. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we'll just uh I guess we'll just uh, put down Bay Volcanian and in our turn into our bonus turn. Alright, so that was very unfortunate. But next turn we can knock out this Rayquaza, which is uh gonna be great. I just I should have just tackled Flareon and then next turn knock him out Volcanian. That would have been the smart play, and that just kinda just uh was being silly. Forgot that we already attached because I was gonna try to attack with Volcanian. Uh but next turn, let's see. Uh, there's a life in. Oh my goodness. Gonna bring up Shaman. Gonna get two prize cards, but we can win next turn. Uh, Alright, so ammo break for the knockout. And I'm pretty sure we can win next turn. If we don't, I'll be highly upset um, at me. Alright, so we'll send up the Volcani X, okay? On our turn, what's gonna happen? There's a Super Rod. Alright, so. I guess we'll score shirt, discard a fire, draw two new cards. Alright, we'll retrieval. Put two fires in our hand, one and two. We will steam up number one, so we're doing plus 30. Steam up number two, plus 60. Attach a fire energy to this guy. All right, so right now we're doing five, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15, and then plus that will be a knockout on this Mega Rayquaza. We'll send up this guy, and we will use the Blaze Ball for the knockout on that Mega Rayquaza doing 220 damage exactly. And there, I mean, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It has 220 HP. And there you go, guys. There's round number one with the Volcanian EX deck. Uh, it was very scary. Mary Quasi is very fast. Can do a ton of damage. But luckily, he did start the Magirna. It helped us out a lot. But I think we still would have took it regardless. My opponent only had taken like four price cards. And uh, we're looking great. But guys, we'll see one more game with the Volcanian EX deck. And we'll see what happens on this next game. All right, printing is H01 CHE playing a Dragon Dark something. And was that fire, maybe? Um, I'm not sure what it is. Like, if it was just Dragon and Dark and something else, I could probably say it's Darker Giratina, but I don't know what it is. Uh, Tells, we won the coin flip, so we'll be able to go first. And yes, I would like to go first. And then on our turn, let's see what's going to happen. What kind of crazy turn can we get? Oh, I mean, that's not really that crazy. All right, so put down Volcanian. Uh, press done. And looks like my opponent did mulligan, so in, by sharp, parallel city. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a uh, a rainbow road deck. I'm like 99% sure that's what we're going to see. All right, so how do we take down our, my one of my favorite decks, rainbow road. Can we beat it or not is the big question. Well, luckily, this deck doesn't usually attack to turn two, but they do play those max lists, which get, does give them the option to do that. Uh, there's a ranger, and there's a Xerneas, okay? So we're going to steam up, <clears throat> discard a fire energy. And uh, we're going to play an end just right off the start. We are looking for a Flowstone Volcanian. All right. So let's see. What do we find? There's a Volcanian. Okay. So put down Volcanian. Uh, put down Volcanian X. Okay. So Volcanian. Volcanian X. We will 
Trainer's Mill. Uh, grab a fighting through. I'll put that on the bench, Volcani. Okay. So I'll put that there, and we'll just end our turn on to our opponent's turn. Okay. So let's see. Can we take a knock on this guy? 3, 6, 9, 12. Uh, yeah, we can. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, yeah, because he has 120. So we need four energies next turn, and we can knock out the active. We need four energies and a glowstone and another, uh, <laughs> and another Volcani next. Okay, so it might be a little hard to do, but I believe in us, guys. I believe. So Trainer's Mill, I'm not even sure what they grabbed. I think it was a Love Ball or something, or an Ultra Ball. I'm not sure. Uh, but Trainer's Mill... We're gonna look at the top cards of our deck. We're gonna grab our teammates, okay? So that way they can put any two cards in their deck if we take a knockout. Uh, there's an Ultra Ball, probably discarding the teammates, and uh, a Bi Sharp, okay? And will we see a Shaman come down? Um, maybe another Xerneas, uh, da da da, a, a Ponyard, maybe their Volcanic EX? <laughs> All right, so Mew, okay? So Mew EX coming down. I forget that Mew is now legal because that Mew Mewtwo uh, selection box. So, Mew, Max Elixir, looks like it failed, and does my opponent have a supporter card to DC on that guy, okay, and there's Sycamore, go ahead and discard the hand, draw seven new cards, so my opponent almost had the potential to take a knock out this turn, now if he does tackle with his Mew, that is great for us, because that's an easy two price cards, cards two easy price cards for us, so there's a Max Potion, uh, we're just going to Sycamore, discard a hand, draw seven new cards, and let's see, what can we find, oh my goodness, nothing right now, uh, we'll Scorched Earth, well, Trainer's Mill number one. We're looking for a Floodstone. All right, we'll grab the Fishman, put that in our hand. We will Trainer's Mill number two. Come on, Floatstone, and there is a Floatstone. That is great. So we'll grab the Floatstone. Uh, we'll put that down on this guy. We will retreat, and we're just going to go for a regular just Power Heater attack. Uh, put that down, put down Volcanion, and we'll go for Power Heater for just 30 damage. We'll attach a Fire G to this guy. All right, so in our opponent's turn, oh my goodness, right now we have, we don't have the greatest hands, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not going to lie, we don't have that good of hands, uh, we, we, we already discarded the Shaman, we have not discarded Shaman, haven't played a VS Seeker yet either, uh, but three trainers models are down as of right now, so there's a Galvangel coming down, which gives a, another dual type, so right now I can do three, uh, Volcano coming down, so 36, 9, 12, 15, 106 damage can be done, in which was, oh, it's actually not enough for knockout on our active. Uh, there's Sycamore, discard in their hand, draw seven new cards. Discards multiple VS Seekers, holy cow, and a special charge, okay? Uh, there's a Ponyard coming down. And will we just see a pass from my opponent? Do they have a switch? Energy? Um, the and like I said, I'm fine with this Mew extra attacking because that Mew is an EX, which can give us a free two price cards. I personally don't like Mew. Um, but on to our turn, we get a, oh, another Volcanian. So put down Volcanian, and we're, do we just license this Volcanian? Kind of get stuck in the axe spot. Um, this guy is weak to fighting, so that's not a knockout. We can't, okay, okay, oh, man. All right, so he can knock us out next turn. Uh, but I'd rather him float, put a flush on this guy instead of an EXP share. So I'm just going to Power Heater for just 30 damage again. All right, so, uh. Things are not looking good for us right now. We need to hit a supported car besides one of these two. Um, Shaman, I'm actually fine with hitting Shaman right now. All right, so there's a uh, buy shark coming down. Okay. All right. Uh, there's a flowstone going to the active. Oh no, going to the bench Volcanian. Okay, and a switch to the Mew. Okay, that's yeah, that's a good play. All right, so they had both uh, Super Rod Shovel Three combination of Pokemon energies back into their deck. All right, buy shark and Xerneas. Okay. And there's a Sycamore. Go and discard the hand. Draw seven new cards. Can my opponent? They play two lice, two teammates. That's crazy. All right. So there's a Fairy G. They will take an, oh wait, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. So two hundred twenty damage with that Rainbow Force. All right. Can we hit the top deck of the century, guys? That is my question. My opponent has yet to put down a Stadium. Can we hit a Fire G? Um. Can we hit a, a letter, a retrieval, something? I'll do our turn. What do we get? And there's a Floatstone. That's not what we need. All right, well, I guess our only play really is to lice into this Bi Sharp. It can maybe get stuck in the axe spot. So, we'll do that. We'll bring up the Bi Sharp. We'll put down Entei. We will retreat into Volcanion. I mean, yeah, the other Volcanion will power heater for just 20 damage. Oh, my goodness. We'll attach a fighter to this guy, okay? So let's see, can Combat Blaze 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, if we get a Fighter G, if we get two Fighter Gs next turn, we can knock out that guy. We need one more. All right, so... Hmm. If he takes a knockout this turn, I might just Fishman for a Fire Energy and Scorcher for two. Just to try to help us out. Uh, there's a Fire Energy to the active. We'll see, uh, we see Retaliate for actually just 30 damage. Alright, so on our turn, what do we get? A uh, Hoopa. Our bench is full, Hoopa. Alright, so put a Flustone on this guy. 
We'll go for power heater. Wait, do we go for burning roar? No, 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 no. We're going for a power heater for sure. All right, so another power heater for 20, okay? I bet my opponent's looking for a Lysander or a Via Seeker. There is two Via Seekers already in the discard pile and two teammates. Not good for my opponent. They could retreat last turn and take a knockout, but they decided not to. There's a DC going to be active. I wonder what my opponent... Well, I don't know why they did that. Uh, okay, because the Pony has two retreat calls. That's why. Okay, so here goes Mew. I forgot it has two retreat calls. I thought it was just one, but that's why I licensed this guy and not the Galvantula. But most squeaky. Uh, Via Seeker for Lysander. Gonna be with the Volcanian most likely and take a knock on it. Okay. <coughs> but I'm actually okay bringing the Volcanian. He actually brings up the one without the Flowstone. I guess because we get we can't touch a Fighting Fury Ball to it. Uh, he's gonna go to three price cards. All right, so Rainbow Force for the knockout. But um, we might actually be able to take a knockout this turn. Uh, we're gonna Hoopa use Hoopa get a Shaman and another Volcanian. Okay, so on our turn, I actually just get one Shaman. And oh my goodness, we top deck a Sigma after I'm gonna. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So we're just a sycamore. Just discard a hedge all seven new cards. Okay, so let's see what do we get. There's a fire energy and a scorched earth. Oh my goodness, we still oh man guys, we still need one more fire energy actually knock out okay no fight if you will because 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, wait, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Yeah, that's actually a knockout. So yeah, 20, because there's 20 plus 20. Uh there's five on the bench, which is 100 plus a 20 is another one. So we're treating this guy. Uh, do we put down Volcanian? Um, uh, sure, why not? And we will take a knockout. Do we fight a fearable the active? I don't think so. Fight a fearable the Volcanian. We'll load stone this guy, and we'll combat blaze for the knockout. Go down to four prize guards. All right, so 120 damage. And now opponent has to find a DCE and a fear to detach that turn. He's actually attack this turn. Uh, there's a fire and a fire. There we go. There's a fire. And here comes Volcanian next. All right, so in our opponent's turn, let's see what happens. They draw a card. Um, looking good. There's a super odd shuffle, three combination Pokemon back into their deck. Um, there's a fairy and a Mew. Okay. And let's see. Well, our opponent, there's a Max Luxor. Can they find a fairy or not? And let's see. Do they have one? There's a fairy going out of Xerneas. Okay. Uh, a Druidagon coming down. Okay. So that, that they have a dragon type on the field. Okay. And doesn't want to have a DC. They've already played uh, two. There's a Via Seeker for teammates, and this will let them get any two cards out of their deck. All right, so I imagine one of these will be a teammates, but we can potentially knock out this guy this turn, which is great for us. All right, and then we'll end up down to one. Uh, three, six, seven, eight. Oh, we actually don't have a knockout just yet, okay. Uh, but does he have another DCE? Okay, two cards going to their hand. We know they have two art in discard pile and a special charge as well. There's a DC going to that guy, okay. I uh, retreat to the Xerneas, and we'll see a knockout this turn. Okay, so there's a Rainbow Force for a ton of damage. Doing 250 damage. Oh, my goodness. All right, so opponent's going down to one price card. I'll go down to two price cards. We'll send a Volcanion onto our turn. What's going to happen? Uh, we get a Fire Energy. There we go. That's the top deck we needed. So we'll steam up. Discard a Fire Energy. We will steam up. Discard another Fire Energy. Uh, steam up. Discard another Fire Energy, and then we'll Via Seeker for N. Put my opponent down to two cards. All right, so we'll Via Seeker for a N. Okay, there they go. We're going to end up putting it down 2 2, and hopefully they have a bad two cards. So let's see what do we get off the end. Uh, maybe a, uh, okay, then the Volcanian, an Energy Vol, which is great. Uh, so we'll put down Volcanian. How many Via Seekers has our opponent playing? Four Via Seekers are gone, and one Lysander. They might not play another. Put down Volcanian. We'll attach to this Volcanian. We will retreat into this guy, and we will just power heater for the knockout. All right, guys, so 120 damage. We'll put a fire engine on this guy, and a fire engine on one of the Volcanians as well. All right, so we got another three price cards. We get a uh, trainer smell. All right, and let's see, who does our opponent decide to send up? I mean, they can take a knockout. Okay, no, they can't. <laughs> we have a fighting field. That's way too much damage right now. I mean, Charlie can do some. Another Pioneer coming down. Okay, an in. So we'll go down to three. They're going down to two. And right now, opponent's not looking too hot. They only have one DC left. There's Fist Letter. Okay. A Fear going to that guy. Oh, man. Retreat to Ponyard. And we'll see a Retaliate for it. Not a knock. It'll be 90 damage. All right. So Retaliate coming down for 90. Okay. And on our turn, what do we get? We get a Fire Energy. Okay. So we can Letter for two Fires. One and two. Okay. Um... Let's see. Power Heater we actually can knock out. He needs a DC actually attack with this guy. So we're going to Fire G this guy. No, we're going to Fire G this guy. Um, 
3679. So, no, 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 let me, no, let me click that. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll discard a fire, whatever. All right, there's another letter. We'll put that in our hand. All right, I didn't, I really didn't mean to click that, that scorched earth. All right, so grab a fire. We will, uh, steam up number one, discard a fire G. Uh, steam up number two, discard the fire G. Okay. And we will power heater. For the knockout, okay, so there we go, uh, 90 damage, we put one of this guy and one of this guy, and, uh, the da 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 go down to two price, or go down to two price cards, there is a VS Seeker, okay. Uh, we can license this guy for the next turn to, for, to knock it out, uh, let's see, what does our opponent have, we're looking great right now, I was really scared, we're in a bad situation, but our opponent discarded so many, like, resources, the three DCs, and the special charge, there's a sycamore, go ahead and discard the hand, draw seven new cards, and doesn't want to find the last DC, but if they do, they are still in trouble, though, um, and let's see, so 60, there's a Mew coming down, okay, um, we get inner opponent down to two, we're not taking a knockout as of right now, which is the only downside. But if this Volcania stays up, we can potentially knock it out. There's a fair you got a Mew. And one opponent just pass here. If they pass, they're gonna they're gonna lose this game because we can VS Seeker for Fisherman and win right now. Uh let's see. What does our opponent do? They put a fair to on that guy, okay. Um, oh man, let's see what does okay, retreat to the Pontiard. Okay. A pass on to our turn. Alright, so we get a sycamore, okay. I think I'm just gonna end. Um, uh, put my opponent down to two. Go that route. I don't want, I don't want a chance of them having another Lysander. So we're going to end, uh, do we, do we shame it first? No, we're going to end. We're going to end first. Uh, yes, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll have fewer cards. I know, I know, Pokemon, it'll be okay. All right, so we get a Scorch Earth in and in, okay? So right now, we're just going to Power Heater for 30 damage, okay? So 30 damage, there they go. All right, we'll put a Fire to Geon, uh, this guy, and, no. Let's put one on this guy and one of this guy, okay? So one and two. It doesn't really matter. The fires don't really matter as of right now. So our opponent, so they're going to draw a card. All right. And uh, let's see. What will our opponent do? There's a, a Ponyard coming out, but now it has a two retreat cost. So it's going to be even harder to retreat that. All right. So in our turn, we get a Sycamore. We'll play the Sycamore. Discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Okay. There's an Energy Vol. Okay. So. It... Um. Do we max potion? That seems really good right now. Uh, yeah, we'll actually max potion the active. We will energy evil. Uh, put two fires in our hand, so one and two. We will put down F Flareon EX. Uh, fire energy the active. And three, four, uh, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, maybe we should. Uh, Alright, whatever, whatever. We're we'll power heater. Not for a knockout, but he really can't do anything regardless. Uh, so 30 damage. We'll put a fire to G on this guy. And put a fire to G on... Oh, that's all we have. Alright, so on our opponent's turn. Um, what we can do next turn is Scorched Earth and discard cards and knock out this mute. That's what we're trying to do right now. Alright, so let's see what happens. On to our turn, we get a VS Seeker, which is fantastic. So we get fire to G the active. We can retreat into Volcano EX. We can be a seeker for a Lysander, bring out the Mew X, and win the game. All right, guys, and there we go. We'll take down the Rainbow Road deck with a Mew X. It's a pretty cool occlusion of the deck. But we'll Volcano Heat for 130 damage and knock out the Mew X to take our prize. Last two prize cards. And there, guys, there's the Volcano and the X. I actually thought we were going to lose the game, but we made the comeback and we did it, guys. But hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed this Volcano and X, Volcano and deck, Volcano and Volcano and Ente Flare on deck. But, guys, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Monday. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.